Sometimes I hear from harpists who say, I really want to get better at reading music. And when I ask them to tell me more, it turns out that they, what they actually want is to be able to sight read, and they get frustrated because this turns out to be too much. So what's the difference between sight reading and reading music, and how to tell what you should practice? My name is Susanna. I am a harpist and a harp teacher, and today I will talk about how sight reading relates to reading music. Let's start with reading music. Out of the two, reading music is the more general term. It basically means translating the music notation found in the score into sounds. In case of the harp, it's mainly about which strings to plug and when. The more experience you have with reading music, the more information you can find in the score. Now, sight reading is a very specific type of reading music, which requires you to translate all these markings into sounds all at once, and without any previous practice, play a whole piece through, without stopping. You may have a brief moment, like a minute or half a minute, to look at the score without playing, just look at what's on the page and analyze it, and after that, off you go. You're expected to play the piece in the correct rhythm, so without slowing down on the tricky bits, preferably at a speed that the piece is supposed to be played at, with the dynamics that are marked in, so playing louder or softer, as indicated in the score, changing any levers or pedals that are needed, and while doing all that, getting as many notes correctly as possible. As you imagine, this is quite a challenge. With reading music being a very general term, it covers many different situations when one may read music. A conductor standing in front of the orchestra is reading music, although there are some people who take the rush of adrenaline from doing it from memory. A student working with flashcards and learning notes in the bass clef is also reading music. We are all reading music when we're learning a new piece using a score, regardless whether we're playing it all through or working for 10 minutes on one bar. And just to be clear, musicians on all levels happen to do that. Sight reading usually happens in some very particular circumstances. You may want to sight read music if you're planning to get familiar on a more general level with a lot of repertoire quickly. Let's say you're looking for a new piece to learn, maybe to play for others on a particular occasion, or it may be just for yourself and you want to try what you can find in the books that you've already got. Or you're playing together with another musician who brings some of their music to the rehearsal and you bring some of yours and then you both have some fun trying things out. When playing with a larger group of musicians, for example in the orchestra, you may end up sight reading much more often than when working on your own. Of course, most musicians prefer to be able to have a look at the music in advance before getting into the rehearsal room, but because of time restrictions and other limits, it may sometimes happen that the music only arrives in the room with the musicians and that they will not be able to look at it until they have to pick up the instruments and play. Another situation where sight reading may be required is when taking music exams. For example, here in the UK, exam boards such as ABRSM or Trinity require to perform sight reading as part of the exam. You may be asked to sight read when auditioning for college or for a position with an orchestra too. As you can see, sight reading is a very specific kind of reading music, a skill that you can develop in addition to reading music. It is a useful tool to have, and depending on what are your goals in music, it may be one that you will find necessary. For example, if you want to play with other musicians or be able to quickly find out how a new piece of music sounds, and perhaps get familiar with a lot of repertoire in a short time, so you can find the pieces that you're looking for. You may get an impression that sight reading is a more advanced type of reading music or something only very experienced musicians do. Yes and no. As a professional musician, you may be required to sight read more often, but you can practice and use sight reading at every level if you make sure to balance it with other forms of practice. Because with sight reading there is so much focus on playing from the beginning to the end without stopping in the correct rhythm and at the right speed, there is a lot less time to think, analyze and repeat, and instead there is quite a lot of multitasking. And although sight reading is a very useful skill to make the most of playing with music, you will also need some dedicated practice time for reading music, which includes learning the notes, analyzing patterns and reinforcing what you've learned by repetition. Trying to sight read everything all the time, expecting yourself to get the correct rhythm right away, playing with the right dynamics and not taking time to practice slowly is a perfect recipe for frustration and overwhelm, I'm afraid. So if you're just starting to read music, make sure you give yourself the opportunity to take things slowly and focus just on one thing at a time. Sometimes I hear from harpists who say they are frustrated by the slow progress they're making reading music. They say things like, it's really depressing when I still stumble when trying to read and play hands together in tempo, 
or I can't recognize the notes fast enough to play in the correct rhythm. If you find yourself getting discouraged when reading music, it may be that you're confusing reading music with sight reading and trying to do too much before you're ready. This doesn't mean that you can't practice both reading music and sight reading, but you need to be quite careful when finding the right balance between the two and making sure your priorities are always very clear. With sight reading, the rhythm is always the most important, and although your aim is to play as many notes correctly as you can with the right dynamics, articulation, pedals or levers, your priority is to carry on playing without stopping while keeping a steady pulse. You don't worry that much about fingering or technique. I mean, it's great if you can sight read with all of it in place, but your two main priorities are the rhythm and to keep going. And that's already a lot. And I would say that if you want to sight read, it's important that you've got the very basics of reading music covered. If it's the first time you will be sight reading, I always recommend to start with the easiest music you can find, definitely below the level of the pieces that you're working on right now. With time, you can gradually expand your comfort zone and venture a little bit beyond, but at the beginning you need to make sure you're not overwhelming yourself and that you always have a little bit of mental space left to stay in control of what's going on in the piece. So aim to go for a little bit less than what you already know. When reading music, you can not take the time, and it is important that you allow yourself all the time you need, especially when learning a new piece. A lot will depend on what piece you're learning, and you will likely be jumping in and out of different phases of learning, but you definitely want to learn the right notes before you try to get the rhythm absolutely right. And only after you feel okay about recognizing the notes and the patterns, you will get to start adding all the other things like fingerings, rhythm, putting hands together, levers, pedals, speeding up the tempo, dynamics, and you will be constantly checking if all that you've put in there so far is still working. If you take the time to do all these things slowly, one at a time, and you're patient however much time it takes, you can learn even the most challenging pieces. If you'd like to get better at reading music, feel more connection between the two hands and learn to recognize notes in the bass clef quickly, in the description of this video you will find a link to a special new training that I just released, so make sure you check it out. Now, let me know in the comments, were you aware of the difference between reading music and sight reading, or have you been trying to sight read before you were ready? If you have any questions about reading music or sight reading, do post them in the comments as well. Also, make sure to subscribe to get notified about the future episodes of the Coffee Break Hub. I will see you here again next week. Take care for now. Bye!